morning. Welcome back to Jody Journals. This is going to be garden update number 16. And um, I'll give you a quick tour of where we stand with the pests. Um, you'll see in the clip that I have aphids back, I have white flies back, and a good amount of squirrel holes, which is so annoying. Because <laughs> every time I try and get seedlings going, the squirrels come dig it up and then they dug up like half of one of my carrots so I reburied it and hopefully I'll get a carrot um but I did buy some fertilizer so I'll show you what I got <laughs> it's called vegetable garden it's by the down to earth um company and it is uh like a general fertilizer so different plants eat different nutrients at different rates. And um, as you can see, my garden is complete chaos. So I got a well-balanced one. It's a 444 of uh, nitrogen, phosphate, and potassium. There's also some calcium in there. This is all natural. Um, you can buy these ingredients separately for your garden, depending on what you need. And you can get soil test kits to tell you what you need in your soil. Um, but I just got one with a little bit of everything. So it has fish bone meal, alfalfa meal, feather meal, langthinite, basalt, potassium sulfate, dolomite, and kelp meal. Vegetable and herb, herb gardens. So they say side dress two to four ounces, depending on plant size and desire, desired growth rate. Um, so I'm just gonna sprinkle a bit around and then use my fork to work it into the soil and it says to water it in well. So um, I think what I'll do is start by um, sprinkling this like around each plant. Then I'll bring my fork over and I'll work it in. Then I'm gonna water everything really, really good. And then we can uh, wash the aphids off while we're doing that, because anyway, you'll see in a minute that they move right back into the cabbages. So I'm gonna spray them really, really well. And then um, we'll spray with the neem oil, and we'll go from there. So come on along, I guess. <laughs> Check out what the squirrels did to my garden there. My poor carrot. Let's see if I can rebury him. Look, he's growing. Look at that. I can rebury him. Oh no. Don't think he's gonna make it now. All right, what else have we got going here? Got a nice deep hole here. Do you suppose he was burying? Let's rebury it. Look right here. My poor seedlings, they're never gonna get going if they keep getting tug up. Mm. Fix that one, fix that one. Yeah, they dug all through here, oh gosh. Oh well. Oh, I live with all types of critters around here. Anyway, just wanted to show you the new holes they dug. My one tomato is doing great. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any other tomatoes, to be honest. Because so far I haven't seen any others. Seems like these are all male leaves instead of female leaves, or flowers, I mean. That's okay. You win some, you lose some. And my pepper plant hasn't flowered at all yet. But still working on it. Let's see what else. Um, beans are looking good. This looks like something ate the leaves off of this one. I don't know if it'll grow more or not, but we'll find out. Jack o' lantern. I don't think his buddy that is right in here is sprouting after all. Maybe we'll pop another one in the ground just to, for giggles. 
<laughs> potato patch. I don't see any potatoes sprouted yet, but the volunteer sweet peas are humongo. Corn is looking good, but look, squirrel hole. Jeez Louise. You bury that. Okay, that's zucchini, bush bean. Oh yeah, look, see something ate one of the leaves off this too. Mm, I wonder what it is. Anyway, this is zucchini too. Let's do some shininess, which would suggest a slug. Mm. Ooh, white flies. Oh my God, somebody just flew off of that. Maybe it's the white flies? Okay, it is. It's the white flies. They're back at it. All right, well, we'll have to spray again. Um, my onion's looking good. He's not really standing up, but I think it's the um, squirrels. Keep bum rushing it. Cause look, this one stands just fine. All right, let's check the aphids. Looking good. I just, I'm wondering if I just need to pull this one out. He's just had a hard life from the get go. But let's see, yep, a couple more moved back in. Oh, there's a little patch. And a ton, oh dear. Okay, time to wash and spray again. I've been spraying the neem oil maybe once a week. Oh, oh my gosh, another grasshopper. There he is, look. Oh, see him? Hi, buddy. <laughs> mm. Lots of grasshoppers this time of year for us. I see some leaf damage right there. Let's check these leaf backs. Mm. Oh yeah, cause look, aphids. Okay. you go that is the pest control check for the day everything needs to be resprayed and those darn squirrels and their squirrel holes are compromising my beautiful beautiful plants I really hope that carrot recovers um,
Okay, a quick after of working in the fertilizer. I loosened all the soil up around everything. Um, not having good luck with carrots this year. <laughs> so I only have like those two. And then I had some sprout a while back. And the only one that made it was this little guy right here. All the other ones died off in the heat. Um, which isn't surprising. It's a very hot summer around these parts. Checking out my broccolis. Cabbage moth egg. Cabbage moth eggs. <sighs> so sad. Um, so I think my next step is going to be to water and wash the cabbages and then last but not least we will spray with neem oil. The yellow jackets are attracted to the bone meal in there, I think. I don't want to get bitten.
well, I guess that's all we have to do today. I put fertilizer in the dirt, we watered really well, and then I just gave everybody a new moil bath. Hopefully to stave off those pesky white flies I've been fighting with. And um, of course the aphids in the cabbage. So um, yeah, here's hoping no more squirrels dig through my whole garden and dig up all my seedlings. We'll see if the radishes that I reburied and the carrots I reburied make it. Um, thanks for tagging along. <laughs> on this garden update um, I think next time I come down here I'm going to build a trellis for those beans and um, I'll do it out of those sticks I used for the sweet peas and I'll maybe wire like use the garden wire to put some chicken wire on them and well yeah we'll go from there Thanks for tagging along. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.